Hey folks, welcome back to Build It With Smith. I'm your host Smith and I'm playing SimCity Build It. Once again, we have uh, tuned in and we are going to be developing another area, another plot of town here. If you tuned into the last video, I kind of laid out this Wild West uh, town center kind of place. What I really wanted to do is drop something like that it fits perfectly right in the center but i don't really know how the folks will feel about having a gigantic expo center uh right next door to the wild west town hall or saloon or whatever that is so i mean this is something that i wanted to do but i think we'll have to store this i still got some more land so there will be another time for an entertainment like venue i think so uh i did put these other buildings here and i just want to turn this this way just because i'm kind of picky like that uh and we're in the luxurious uh wealth forecast with all of these homes so they're going to upgrade to those luxury um skyscrapers actually and so the deal here is we're just going to be putting together uh, a little development, little, well, I wouldn't want to say it's a neighborhood because this isn't going to just be houses like they are now. I'm going to uh, have this whole area kind of be a uh, kind of, a, well, what kind of district will this be? Um, I guess I wanted to go for like a, uh, mm, like a downtown, not downtown downtown but kind of like you know a place with some shops and maybe a couple of businesses and uh really a uh, uh commercial development site type of place here something that won't be too in your face right next door to this little prairie that we have here for instance uh now i got that trash dump over there but that's just because the folks needed something like that now, with stuff like this, this really goes pretty fast. Uh, you're going to see that we develop this uh, area pretty quick. Now, uh, if you guys are wondering, I don't know what's been going on with my recordings, but somehow, at some point or another, the audio from the game just cuts off. And I'm not sure what to do about that. So, uh, well, I guess... Uh, We'll just keep things going. So here we are at the uh, mayor's spin holiday. Looks like we got uh, actually the same deals as last time. So let's take a spin. Last time we got the uh, the uh, expansion items. And so I'm hoping this time to get actually something from the, from the holiday. Oh, hmm. Well, we got... Uh, Dr. Vu items here. So that wasn't a very good spin in my opinion. I would have rather gotten one of the items here. So let's see what they're looking for. A light bulb. Those are usually pretty easy to find. But let's see. We need to forge uh, some things here. Uh, let's see. What what did we need here for an upgrade? We needed a tree. A tree. Uh, takes a lot actually uh, for the tree so uh let's get maybe some up oh, don't have that for the beef uh we'll start the beef cooking there that's going to take two hours and let's see why all right let's just get this uh wait we don't have any metal all right Guess we gotta put some metal in the production. Uh, speaking of production, this isn't very productive here uh, to start off. All right, we need one TV. What? Uh, we'll need that. Mm. All right, that's gonna take about three hours. So obviously, guys, we're gonna um, come back and. Uh, maybe break this up into a few different sessions so that y'all can see the progression of the neighborhood here uh the uh development new area here so if you're just getting familiar with my town this is the uh well this is uh kind of mm, 
and this is the main downtown, more like the the gambling capital type place. And of course, we have a. I wonder what happens if I move this. Uh, oh, it, uh, population actually goes down. So we're going to keep those right there. This is kind of the. Um, uh, this is where you come to have fun, basically, uh, right here. So our population, we're sitting right at the door of 600,000. And so we will try to break that door down and keep going upwards. So let's see. All right. Well, what do we need now? More nails. And so we're tuned back in, and I got a couple of more houses developed. Kind of put some character to the road structure here. And I think this is what we're going to go with. Uh, so we're going to probably fill this whole place with buildings to try to get the max population this um wild west actually i think one of the buildings there does a 70 percent population boost and all the rest of them do pretty good too uh the folks are a little sad because uh well my police health and fire don't exactly stretch all the way to there so i'm gonna have to supplement uh and this happens to cover the area for not a lot of simoleons so let's uh Let's, let's get these services to cover the area. So uh, let's just put that right there. That's going to cover it just fine. And then we got the clinic. Uh, let's see where we could put the clinic. Or actually, uh, I'll actually move this one. Uh, oops, if I could, I'll move that. And we'll put this right in the center just... Well, it kind of overlaps there, but I think that's fine. All right, so uh, what else? All right, so now we got uh, other recipes that we need to try and do something with. Uh, another set of TVs here. And we will put those into, into production. And what else? So two glass, go ahead and grab those for later. And then, well, that's a mighty big recipe here. Uh, it's pretty easy to <clears throat> find fries or cheese fries is actually what they are. Uh, let's see, we don't have enough for a chair, so I guess it's back to the drawing board here. Uh, we need nails and we need a hammer. Okay. And more wood here. So this is just uh, kind of upgrading buildings here. Hopefully you guys don't find it boring. Uh, this is just, uh, you know, how we play the game. And, uh, Luckily, uh, you're not having to stick around for the whole two or three hours that it takes for some of these items to develop. Now, I'm not going to develop uh, anything over here right now. I kind of like the way that those buildings look. I will try to upgrade, cycle through, and try to see if I can get some more uh, upgrade notifications on my uh, other buildings up here because we're really trying to develop this area. Uh, all right, let's see, Tokyo, oh, uh, I actually need to start stocking some more Tokyo items because I have this little spot off to the uh, left of my map here where I've got just a few Tokyo items, but not too many. So uh, that production kind of slowed down just simply because I don't have the Tokyo items. Uh, and actually that goes for all the other ones. Uh, the uh, what is it, London and the Parisian buildings kind of ran out of those items there. Uh, but I, uh, in, with my university over here, I kind of made the Parisian buildings be the college dorms. 
And so I think I got enough of those. And then I got the London build as being like the academic buildings uh, of the college there. And there's the campus. So uh, let's see. I got this Western Springs, kind of just put it here uh, next to the sheep field. Uh, so that whole area there, that's just kind of agricultural type. And, uh, oh, hmm. So, uh, looks like we'll have some extra space there. How's about we, let's see, um, get something, the space, oh, not... I meant uh, the parks here, and we get a one of these plazas or sculpture garden. That's nice. Okay, we'll put that there, and then now we have the space. And so there will fit two more buildings right there, and we can fit one, two, three, four, four more buildings because we're going to get rid of that uh, trash dump there. The folks really aren't going to like that, so we're going to have to move that around. Okay, so there's that. Now it's growing dark. I really like the beach. Uh, I recently updated my beach area, kind of spread things out and uh, copped a few new items. So I think the folks are happy with that, with the new beach. Uh, all right, so what's next here? Um, you guys, uh, you never seen it at night here. Maybe you have, maybe, maybe you haven't, uh, but here's my city at night. Really light, bright, bright, light brights, light brights. Uh, so I think really, uh, as an overall sort of statement, the whole town development is kind of looking pretty nice. All right, so uh, here we are here at the last uh, little part of this here episode. We've kind of come in and we've added more buildings in and we're ready to upgrade a few. So like I said, uh, these buildings are probably going to end up at various levels. Uh, I think I am going to make them all be the luxury luxury homes uh you know luxury uh developments so we'll have that going uh for some reason they're gonna have that 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 western plaza there is going to be surrounded by a bunch of elite looking buildings so not sure how that's gonna mesh with everything else but uh so let me see taking a look here what else do we have? All right, so we need to make a chair. Can't make the chair yet, gotta grab the wood. Grabbing the wood and putting more wood in there. And then now we need some more metal and we try to keep these things stocked, guys. Uh, so, all right, now we can make that chair and, uh, oh, 722 simoleons. Uh, yeah, oh, by the way, uh, off camera, I did have to add uh, another power plant facility, yes, because, uh, well, we got a little high on the demand side, I think, uh, so I added another fusion plant and another recycling center as well, so uh, won't have to do that in a while. What I should do is um, see see if I can kind of ramp down in my whole... Uh, area over there and try to maybe upgrade everything to the uh, Omega you know operating off of Omega uh, by the way did any of you guys in the comments this is something I'd like to know did any of you guys ever play the SimCity uh, PC game the, the last one that came out in 2013 uh, anyway I used to like to try to get the Omega plants factories running on that game um i don't know if anybody's familiar with what i'm talking about uh so these last two spaces i was sort of thinking if i should kind of make i mean because the transportation zone doesn't really have a lot of buildings so um, i'm kind of looking for a place just to put 
some buildings for population boost and stuff like that. And this may be the place. I don't know. All right, uh, let's speed this stuff up here so you guys can see uh, everything that comes out of this. Uh, out of this here. I'll just throw a turtle one on that one. And that, that should speed everything up accordingly, I think. And let's see if we can get another building to upgrade here from our development. So we got two more spaces. I, I don't think that the transportation was going to fit right. It didn't really add a whole lot to it. Uh, all right, we need to do some nails here. That's only going to take three minutes, so no need to speed that up. What other recipes do we have here? Uh, well, let's try to work on this one here. If we can just grab that and some more metal, that'll only take a minute to forge some more metal. And in the meantime, uh, let's see what else. That backpack, we're making that. Let's grab another one of these chemicals and we'll have that for next time. And let's see. So looks like we need a lot of metal actually. So we're gonna be forging metal for a while. Uh, let's check on these guys. Got their little tower there. And uh, yeah, my little Parisian zone with those. I love those houses. Those are like nice houses. Nice, uh, you know, uh, modest houses. And oh, you know what? Now that I'm looking at this, I don't know what these two, I guess I was going to upgrade these, but we've got a home for you, fellas. Now, come right over here, and you'll fit in right uh, nicely in this community. So, all right, so we're, we'll drag those guys, and actually, uh, that'll be a good place to probably put some transportation, and we'll see what we get out of that. Yeah, so what, I mean the uh, the transportation buildings, the bus station and the London bus station. I think that'll be a good place for those. Now, I think out of an epic building, I'm trying to see. We we would probably get a bigger population boost if we put two epic buildings there, but um, I think we'll just do this anyway. I'm just looking at the maximum population that we could get. We probably would get more population theoretically. I think from epic buildings you can get, you know, probably up in there, probably somewhere around 8,000. So we're not getting uh, that here, obviously, with these. But uh, it may look kind of fit nice with the cities right by this, you know, uh, fire precinct and deluxe fire station and uh, the hospital. So it's kind of like fits in with the whole uh, service district here, service district. You got your hospital, your fire station, and your police precinct. Then you got bus stations, London buses, tour buses, and then your regular buses right across the street from the gambling. So I think that the Sims appreciate that. All right, so our metal should be ready. We should be ready to do some more upgrades now. All right. So here we go, a new development here. And now we're well over 600,000, so that's good. What else? How about that beef? Uh, let's get that ready. There's the chair. Uh, what else? We're moving right along with these upgrades. Only 30 seconds left on the nails. How long on the backpack? Uh, 38 minutes, but counting very fast, very quickly. So we'll probably see that before the end of this video. All right. Uh, let's see. We got more metal to forge here. I think we did. And we're ready with the nails. So is this another upgrade ready here? Uh, I thought it was. What do we need? The beef. How long we got on the beef? Uh, should be a little closer now. 
Ah, just in the nick of time. So, and uh, there's the beef. So, now we're ready to do this upgrade, and this is going to be a new development here. Let's check it out. It's probably going to look like a lot of these other ones here. You know, it would be interesting uh, at this phase to kind of... Uh, uh, see which buildings look alike and kind of spread them out so that they're not all clumped together. And so as they start to develop, and I think the idea here for this, uh, I got these different plots you can see. So I need to figure out what's going to look better. Like where do I want the tall buildings? I'm going to have short buildings, uh, medium buildings, and just a whole mixture there, but they're all going to be luxury buildings. So, uh, that's going to be the idea for that, uh, that area right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, I need some seeds. Uh, it's kind of disappointing that I didn't have any seeds available uh, for that right there. Need that watermelon and need that grass there. But sometimes... Uh, what we're looking for is in the Global Trade HQ. So let's see. Uh, well, who probably has it? We do need those cheese fries. So we'll grab this from KBB's Trade Depot. And then we'll shoot back. Uh, somebody told me that from here I could just go back to the um, Global Trade HQ. But I don't see how to do that. So I guess I'm just going to return home and then I go back into there. Somebody commented on one of my videos and explained how to do that. I can't remember now. Alright. Okay, so uh, let's see. What else do we need? Let's see if we can find a seed or a, oh, well, we do need that lemonade. Those are kind of hard to come by. Oh, okay, what do we got here? Let's see, oh, almost. I might grab a coffee though. Coffees are also hard to come by. Grab them while you can. All right, one more time, maybe later. Get that backpack and grab, oh, we did, oh, here we go, okay. All right, grab that metal, 40, one more, one more, okay. And grab the metal here and see that upgrade. Okay. All right. Well, are we going to find this seed or this grass or whatever we need here? I think we still got a, a silver coin. The, um, what's that? Some, uh, not the cheetah. Which one is that? The goat? The llama? I think that's the llama. The silver speed up coin. Uh, got to collect those beach items because you never know when you might need them. We're always looking to expand our beach. So, all right. Well, not having much luck with the uh, with the seed and getting this last piece here. Uh, the last piece, I really wish we could find it, but yeah, not here either. Not in Smithyville. Smithyville let us down. Two million population, so that's pretty good. All right. Uh, one more time here. Who would probably have a seed? I think Capsule Corp. Looks like he has a seed here. Capsule Corp. Nope. Nope. Nothing that we need here. So, well, uh, one more time. No. Uh, let's see about doing a different upgrade now. We gotta keep these upgrades going here in this place. Got two of the same 
just different colors, but they're really the same building there. So there's that. Uh, so here it is, guys. I mean, here is the plot. Oh, and notice the small campsite, guys. There, those aren't just trees. That is an actual a campsite. So uh, we got the Wild West uh, town center here, and in inside the town center, we've got stage coaches and everything else that you'd expect to find, and then. You know, I really, I must say, I really like the development of this city. One more time, guys. All right. Who could probably give us a seed? How about Zigzag with the watches? All right. Here we go. What do we got, Zigzag? Oh, nothing, nothing for us. Okay, guys. Well, uh, we are... Coming to the end of this video now, let's just uh, check on a couple of things. Make sure everybody in the city is good before we log off. Uh, they're good over here. That uh, little plot of that man-made lake there, those guys are fine. The apartment guys are fine. The commercial buildings are fine. Uh, the university, everybody's doing okay. Uh, I think I'm going to probably move some of these, those taller buildings like over there, over there, right here. I think I'm probably going to move these uh, probably to this area I'm developing. I'll just trade some things out, trade some buildings once they, I'll probably have like the, some of the shorter condo-like buildings over there, I think. Something. <laughs>